A demand for Singaporean artwork is on the rise with interest in pieces by both past and present artists. Sherry Look paints us a detailed picture on what's driving this and whether it's enough to support homegrown talent in Singapore's art landscape. Forest Heiser's raw brushstrokes portray the nitty-gritty of everyday life in Singapore, but his evocative pieces have found their audience half the world away. I'm slowly, like, hopefully, like, penetrating through the like uh, American market. And he'll get a chance to court that market even more when he launches his first solo exhibition in Los Angeles later this year. The 25-year-old sees this as a major milestone to get him where he ultimately wants to go. My goal is probably is just like showing overseas and like slowly like getting a bit of recognition here and there. And like when I go overseas, I intend to like learn a bit more and sort of like absorb some of the stuff that they do and like I just try to improve as as an artist. Forrest is in good company. Local galleries I spoke with say works by Singaporean nurses have been drawing much more interest. There are a few reasons. Number one is of course the rise of the Southeast Asian art. So uh, Singapore as a key hub in this region of course it would benefit uh, from it. Secondly is the growth in recognition of the artists and artworks, you know, uh, when you do a lot of fairs, exhibitions locally, internationally, the artists, um, they manage to gain, their, to, to gain their reputations and, you know, to reach new audiences. Kuturi Gallery, which represents Forest, says demand for works by Singaporean artists has grown by around 40% in the past three years. Local gallery Confluence Art Space says it's seen 30% more inquiries compared to a year ago. A lot of interest is coming from overseas buyers who are already familiar with Singapore's first-generation artists. Singaporean artists have continued to perform well at art auctions across Asia. Christie's tells me that works by Georgette Chen have set records two seasons in a row. She's also popular over at Sotheby's, where one of her paintings sold for over two million Singapore dollars. And appreciation for other Nanyang artists is also growing. Liu Kang, for instance, recently sold one of his pieces for a record price at a recent auction. The question is whether growing interest in Singaporean works will inspire more young talent to pursue fine art careers. Not quite yet, it seems. Art schools here say it takes more than buying demand to draw young artists into art careers. Singapore needs a more robust landscape to cultivate and assess talent. There's always the underlying um, desire to improve your craft and to be better at what you do. And then after that, there is the uh, criticality, right? Um, are my works um, critically analysed? Are my works um, included in some of the critical uh, write-ups and critical essays uh, by curators and historians? She says it will still take time for the local fine arts scene to really flourish. At LaSalle College of the Arts, there is cautious optimism. The school hopes this renewed appreciation for local works will convince people to see art as topical and relevant, and in doing so, slowly but surely, boost Singapore's cultural and social capital.